searching for the answer to our trials. We came so far. It's me, the trash boy. Uh, I think I kind of, sort of, a little bit fixed my expressions. Um, so hopefully I don't look constantly depressed. Um, it might happen. But who knows. Uh, it's not supposed to. Also, my mic is definitely in the wrong spot. Oh boy. Vex! You already have a Nidoran female, you silly duck. Yeah, well, that was a little gossip everybody. Um, I am starting really late. Uh, well, like an hour late. Sorry about that. Uh, your boy may or may not have been getting some stuff ready for tonight's stream. And then was like, oh shit, it's past time. And I'm a dummy. Okay, I'm a dummy. Big savage. No Pokemon. No Pokemon. Not for the bits. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so, um, tonight's plan. Okay. Uh, music shouldn't be too loud. It's, it sounds kind of loud for me, though. Uh, so music will be getting turned off occasionally for when we start actually doing things. But the plan for tonight is we are going to make some TikToks. We're going to aim for 21 TikToks. That way we've got three a day for an entire week. Uh, and I'll get to editing those this weekend. And then I'll have stuff coming up in my main TikTok. And then for... That'll be for our first hour. We're going to aim for that during the second hour. Uh, depending how long it takes us. I want to make uh, a bunch of videos for my horror channel and 
you know, we're just gonna record the audio and you guys get to hear it. So, I'm gonna be recording that on stream with my little recording software. And uh, we'll be good to go on that one. But pretty much you guys get to hear it early. And then you'll be like, oh shit, how is that gonna look when he edits it? Uh, pretty much the exact same, but with images. And an outro. And music. <laughs> and then, uh, for the final hour, because I want to aim for three hours. We are going to play a chill game, or maybe just like relax and have a game. So, we could continue Ocarina of Time, because I believe that we had just become Adult Link the last time that we played. Yeah, but that was over a month ago. Or, we could start something new, and I've had this like overwhelming urge to play Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Yeah, so if you guys are down for that, 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 that could be fun. Uh, I'm here and in an amazing mood for once in the past two weeks, dude. Nice, oh, that's fucking awesome, man. I'm happy for you, mama. Uh, yeah, so your boy, he has an energy drink, he has some cookies. I'm alive, we'll, we'll do our best to have some, some energy within us today. There's also a few things that I want to talk about because I was like, God damn, what the heck? Um, my IRL TikTok blew up, and I'm like, oh shit, um, okay, it's neat. Uh, what kind of cookies you got? I got Chips Ahoy Chunks. Heck yeah. Um, I mean, it's not real food, and I haven't actually ate today, but that's not important. I have cookies, and I can sustain myself out of cookies. Um, brain worky. Yeah, my IRL TikTok kind of went boom, and uh, I can now live stream on my IRL TikTok. <laughs> that's uh, odd, considering that's my side account. Uh, my main one is what we're going to be recording for tonight. Oh my god, my chains are falling and hitting things. Shit. Um, yeah. Alright, so. Uh, oh, ah, back in the right spot. Yeah, so. Bring me. Gotta work. Uh, so I'm going to try and work that into my schedule as well. I'm going to see about getting unloaded data uh, on a phone plan. That way I can, like, stream from the forest. Because I've made it a habit to just go there and watch the sunrise in the mornings. Because it's just super nice. So, I figure, why not? If I can get unlimited data on my phone plan, then I could just live stream from there. Why not? Um, ooh, favorite cookies and eggy cookies are real food in my opinion. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they're more healthy for you than spinach, technically. They got, like, more, uh, iron, they got more protein. You know, like, they're, they're technically healthier than spinach. Don't get me wrong, I like spinach, but technically... Yo, let's go. I know, right? But the main thing is I just started up a new schedule, which apparently I'm already feeling it sticking to, but um, it's going to be adding another thing, and I'm just like, ah, shit. But I might as well run with it. Like, why not, right? If it's already doing good, might as well keep doing it. Because I literally just made, like, a bit, like a TikTok talk about dating, and I was just like, okay, here's my opinions on this thing that you have said, person. And then it was just like, boom, 12,000 views, and I'm like, what the fuck? I was at, like, Maybe like three or four hundred followers. Now I'm at like fourteen hundred. What is happening? So uh yeah, now I can live stream on there. And the first thing I did was like Geki is now a moderator on my TikTok streams because him and I talk on TikTok every fucking day. So like we just send memes back and forth like videos back and forth and we just shoot the shit and just that's where we talk mostly. So I was like, you know what? He'll probably be one of the people that stops by my streams the most, so I might as well make him a mod, because he's already a mod on Twitch, so yeah, yeah. Um, the yo, what's up, homie? Or the OG, I guess. The OG daddy. Now I know exactly who that is. Hey. <laughs> I said feel because I saw T-H-E-O, but now I see what it says. The OG daddy. I know who this is now. I know exactly who that is. I hung out with you in person. <laughs> At least if it's the same person, I think it is. What you up to, homie? We're going to be making a bunch of TikToks, though, so we need to come up with some funny ideas. So if you guys have some funny ideas for us to use, let me know uh, if you have any voiceover stuff. I don't know if I really want to do voiceovers as much. I kind of enjoy doing my own shit. Not great, but won't bring crap into your stream. Just want a, a smile tonight. Oh, you're going to be smiling. We're going to be doing stupid shit for, like, the first hour. Um, or at least until we get 21 TikToks. Missed ya, saw you pop up. Hey. But we got to hang out again sometime soon, then. The weather's nice. Um, brain ain't gotta work. My brain is just running at like the speed of a peanut. Um, 
Yes, the plan, the plan. We're gonna make 21 TikToks, or more, but at least 21. And then we are going to uh, sit down and record at least three of the horror floor things. But uh, we'll probably record more than three. Probably. So I'll need to like pause music when we're doing certain things because, you know, I have to add music that works for TikTok and isn't going to be like, hey, you get you in trouble. And then also it'll be better audio quality. But for right now, we just chill. Do the Ford one. That was fun. The Ford one? Which Ford one? That's what it like to drive a Ford F-150. That kind of one? You ever got confused by a twin sister? Oh. Nah, I don't really want to do voiceover stuff. I want to do like my own stuff. Like, I, I was doing voiceover things, but it really wasn't. It's it's not worth the editing to make them, like, look good. And it, it just... It, it's extra effort to set up all that, because I have to, like, find a TikTok that has that audio. And then I have to set my microphone, because um, I use a mixer, set the audio from my browser to my mic. And then, from there, I have to... Uh, make the actual clip in that point and then after that I take it I download the clip and then I edit anything that might be needed for it so whether it's like random stupid shit whereas those where we're just talking it's like hey whatever we're just chilling and I just say something stupid and you guys are like this is cool I like that it was funny yeah. someone cast this fucking in around but uh, yeah so I got energy drinks I got some water I got my chips a whole Go be hungry, but you know what? Snack. We'll go be chill with snack. I also have a funny story to tell you guys later, because I meant to do it yesterday, but then like my computer had issues, and I was like, oh shit. So I uh, had the vamos. Also, I can hear people getting home right now. So you guys can probably hear that in the background. I'm like, also, if my audio quality is a little bit lower, let me know. Um, it should be okay, but I did try to adjust a few things so that my audio sounds better. It's possible it doesn't, but you know. Who cares? <laughs> Has anyone had anything exciting happen to them today? Or at least recently? Because I would love to hear some more stuff. I throw ideas right now, but my TikTok FYP is literally military spouses bitching funny toddlers and food, so I know help. Oh no. <laughs> Single today? Single today? Nani? Oh well. That's that's not. Oh okay. That, you're talking about breakup. Oh gotcha, gotcha. That explains why you wanted to come see my dumb ass. I'm. I try to make people laugh. Why is that not updating over there? That's supposed to update. Why is that not updating? Vex. I started summer classes. God damn it, Vex. You and your school. That's supposed to be updated. I, I changed it to shawarma fun because I thought it'd be funny. And now it's just not updating that it's supposed to be a different number now. Would you data? Yeah, cheer progress. Zero. Here, I'll just set it to reset goals. Save changes. It's just weird that it's not updating down there. Uh, yeah, that's why I came. You usually make me giggle or crack a smile, at least. I will do that anytime you know that. You could just inbox me. You're one of the few people I'll actually reply to a text. Like, I, I get, like, I've got, like, oh, fuck, I don't even know how many people that are on my friends list on Facebook now. Like, it is 99% women, too. Oh, which I'm like, me. Um. Train work. Uh, but yeah, so, like, a lot of people just message me constantly, and if they just say hey or hi or hello, I don't reply. Because I'm like, okay, at least bring something to the table when you go to greet someone. You know, don't just be like, hi. I'm like, bye. Like, I'm just not interested. Um, it's just one class. I'll be fine. Will you, though? Will you? Uh, I decided on a college degree, finally. Not starting yet, but I figured it out. So that was exciting, I guess. That's pretty dope, though. I'm proud of you. Uh, just not excited for history. God damn it, Vex. So I used to be able to have it so that I could separate my audio so that like I could still play music while I was streaming. Um, 
and it wouldn't be caught in the VOD, and then I highlight the VOD, and that's where I get shit. But, uh, since that was only when I streamed to Twitch, and now I multi-stream, it doesn't give me that option. So it kind of lights. Well, I've seen some of those posts you've had up. The comments are hilarious. Very thirsty. You got all the ladies. I... They all live in different countries. I mean, you live in my country. You live nearby. So I mean... It's not to do the thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be cute and do a wink. My eye is clearly open. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. I see them too. Yeah, Mama is also from my Facebook. Um, hey, you guys want to grab some trashy merch? Buy it. It's good for you. It'll improve your health. For legal reasons, I have to say that's a lie. Um getting the e-girls uh sort of e-girls i don't know like there a lot of people actually just like are like hey you're cute and i'm like okay me thanks um so why aren't we dating because i don't date well okay i technically date but i don't do relationships is emo e-girl no e-girl is internet girl like ethernet or email yeah they want to be e girls i mean technically mama you're also an e-girl you're a girl, and you're on the internet. And you talk to a loser boy that makes stupid shit on the internet. So, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> Not quite how that works, but you know. Ooh, yeah. But no, I don't do no relationships. Mm -mm. Relationship? More like relationship. So, nothing. I do dates, though. Damn, you're right. Also, hey, I enjoy this shit you post. It's fine. Yeah, I'm a total shit poster on Facebook. I don't like. That's literally the only reason why I have so many people follow me now. I swear to God. Um, as much as I like you, I'm so done with relationships. Don't worry, I don't do relationships anyway. Look, win win. Hi. Right. So, uh, booty call win. No. <laughs> I got him set a favorite on Facebook because his shit posts. Literally though, like I just post so much shit. Um, mind you, uh. I don't know what to say. I'm not calling you daddy. Um, they also know me. like, But they know me like in real life. And they also have me on Facebook. Go on a date with your funny ass. No funny business. Hand holding with gloves only. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm, I'm going to turn off the music. I'm going to repeat that one. That was kind of funny. We're going to make that one into a tickety tack. All right. Hold up. Hold up. <clears throat> All right. I'll go on a date with your funny ass. No funny business. Hand holding with gloves only. <laughs> you think I'm wearing protection? <laughs> All right, there we go. There's one. All right, someone make a marker of one. We need a tally. All right, we're gonna. Someone needs to make a tally. <laughs> there we go. We get some funnies in here. All right, it's weird not having music. Oh my god, but you know what? This is how we're gonna have to do it. I'm just picturing finger condoms. Those are a thing. They also work for micro penises. Yeah. Alright, make that as two! Because I thought that was funny, so I saved that one. No protection, no problem. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. So we'll get us fucking that ran out of here. Somebody try to catch it. There's no way you don't have enough points. Alright. It's already got one tick on it, even though they couldn't technically catch it. So, you know. Okie dokie. Alright, um, so when we doing this date, bitch? <laughs> nah, I don't want them kids. Gecky. He got the Pokemon. That means he's got a kid now. <laughs> Make it three. Let's go. We're going to call that his child. Hello, Geki. Welcome, Brendo. I love you. I miss you. Huh? That's about as close as you're going to get. And I don't know why I did that. I miss my. There we go, another one. What are we at? Four? Easy peasy. This is how our first hour is going to go. All right. 
When is your always busy ass free? I got time this week. Oh, I am not free weekends. I am not free weekends. You guys want to see my schedule? Here, give me a sec. I'll show you my schedule. Because soon enough, I'm going to be getting into doing adult content later on too. So that's in this schedule. But here, I will show you my schedule. Uh, Boop. All right. So it's kind of itty bitty. But like, you'll be able to see it. So like, I got like my wake up at 1 p.m. And I give myself two hours for like my good morning tweet that I haven't been doing. Um, do the cat litter, feed the cat, eat breakfast, brush teeth, shower, and then I go for a walk. All right. Give myself two hours for all that. And then I spend an hour on Twitter. And on that hour, I interact with people and I do stuff. And then uh, on, we're just going to look at Saturday or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday, uh, two hours of fuck all. I can do whatever I want, play video games, chill. Uh, cat stream. Cat doesn't stream at the moment. So that's four hours of fuck all. Right. And then there's. There's Geeky Stream that I want to be there for at least two hours. Um, so I want to do that five days a week. I know it's itty bitty. Um, that's why I'm saying what's on the screen. Geeky. Um, so it'll be two hours of chilling in there at least. Um, I haven't been able to go all week because I've, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yesterday I didn't get out of bed till like 10 p.m. And then today I didn't get out of bed till like 7.30 p.m. Because I'm not the one to wear hand. But uh, by like the end of my day I'm feeling okay. So it works out. And then I have an hour to just chill. And then I get ready for my VR chat stream, and then I have three hours of absolutely nothing. And then I spend an hour on Instagram interacting with things. And then my plan is to watch anime with people for two hours, but since we haven't been doing that, um, I've been using this two-hour anime section to go for a walk and watch the sunrise. Actually, it goes into the Instagram time a little bit, because I go in, the sunrise right now is at 5.45 a.m. So I go and I walk to the forest, and I watch the sunrise in the morning. And then I spend time there until about 7.30, and then I walk home. And then I go to bed, and then I sleep for four hours. I give myself five hours to sleep, an hour to fall asleep, and four hours to sleep, and then I repeat. Saturday, it's a whole lot of nothing. Rel stream, iffy streams. Um, and then I edit videos for five hours. And then cats or my photo shoot. I'm going to be doing photo shoots in VR soon. And then an hour off. Anime. The anime type uh, thing might not happen again. You know what I'm saying? Might be just going for walks still. Because no one's been watching anime, so it's no big deal. Um, Sunday, same shit again, but I spent five hours editing photos, and then I spent five hours scheduling posts across TikTok, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, what else do I post on? God, there's a lot. Uh, a DeviantArt, um, all sorts of shit. I post all my, my stuff, five hours, and then two hours for Cats or My Shoot. It, it's interchangeable between who's this being done that day, and then an hour off, and then same shit. So I am busy weekend, tell me. Like, really busy weekends. Yeah. I don't have a day off. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't stream today. It must be nice having a day off. No. No. I don't have a day off. I'm making a bunch of videos. I'm scripting stuff. I'm scheduling things. I'm editing and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Become a VTuber, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's fun, but it's stressful. Ah! What are we at now? Five? <laughs> Alright, um... Nah, I'm letting it go back in the wild. Oh my god. This man literally just said, I... Yeah, sure, I just adopted you, but guess what? You're gonna live in the woods. With the clown. Get your mind out of the gutter. Wait, what? What? Well, his mind's in the gutter. I'm confused now. Um, hey, old guys, don't worry. I mostly didn't stream this week. Yeah, I got lucky. This man, I didn't make, I didn't let him down. Okay, so date never. Ah. Tomorrow's Friday. Hold up. Tomorrow's Friday. Good for tomorrow. Hmm. I don't have a way there, but you free tomorrow. Alright, um, schedule is pretty open. You have a schedule for social media? What? can never be me. I don't even have a schedule. But st no, so it's mostly so, because this is my job, right? I need to, like, stay on top of things. And, like, to be in algorithms, you need to, like, interact with things. So Instagram, um, it, you pretty much you find, um, there, there's different ways of doing it. But pretty much find your main niches, right? So, like, for me, uh... 
I spend, well, I have four different Instagrams, technically. Um, I've got my gaming one, I've got my art one, I've got my VTuber one, and I've got my IRL one. The art one doesn't really have much on it at the moment, but I do have some plans. But I'm going to spend 15 minutes on each one, uh, interacting with things that are associated with them. So for, like, my IRL one, it'll be, like, alt Instagram. So, like, the, the punks, the goths, all that stuff. And then for my VTuber one, interacting with VTubers for about 15 minutes, just, like, commenting on their stuff. Not just being, like, hot, lit, fire, but, like, actually, like, saying, hey, like, I love your content. Or, like, yo, your model is so cute. Or, like, you know, like, that was funny as all hell. You should post more like this. You know, like, actually talking to people. Um, my gaming one is just going and checking out other people's stuff. Be like, yo, your edits are dope, dude. Or be like, um, like you, you, you genuinely try to make friends, right? Like that's how you're supposed to grow on social media. And then for, uh, there, there's another way of doing it where if you've only got one Instagram account, which is the smart way to do it, but Bill C11, I'll explain later. Um, so if you have one, you find three main niches. And then you spend 20 minutes on each a day. And you just comment on stuff in that niche. And then it draws people back to you because they're like, oh, this person's commenting. Ta-da, nice. Uh, Twitter is a little bit different, but pretty much if you start interacting with people on Twitter, um, again, it's usually like find three main niches and then you spend an hour, 20 minutes in each. Um, mine is like I've got two different Twitter accounts, so I want to spend a half hour on each. I've got my IRL and I've got my... Uh, VTuber one. Now, my IRL one, I'm going to be changing into adult content soon because that is easy money. So, on that schedule that you guys saw, uh, I'll just put it this way. Um, let me do this. Uh, all of this orange, that is um, CB. All right. And if you know, you know, like that's my the adult content I used to stream. That's the website I streamed on. It's like Twitch, but for adults. Uh, I don't know how to say your name correctly, so I'm going to call you T. Welcome, T. Twitch, say hi to YouTube. Um, and then the red one here is taking not safe for weird pictures for that type of content. So I've also got, like, the the Patreon, the Only Friends, and the Fansly type thing. So I'm going to be setting up all that shit. But I need to get on top of this stuff. But that's what those are for. Um... But yeah, so Twitter, it's pretty much find three niches, and then you spend 20 minutes in each one. So, like, my VTuber one, it would be, like, obviously VTubers, and then I talk a lot about horror stuff, so I do horror and, like, cryptids and whatnot. And then I would also be, like, anime. So those would be my three main niches. So isn't Twitch more for adults anyway? Uh, With the amount of fucking children, or the way that people act like children on here, I don't know about that. But uh, I mean adult as in, like, uh, the hub level of adult like if i say the word i'll get banned on all four websites i'm streaming to type thing so it feels weird not having music ah, but something funny might happen who knows um yeah so that that's the type of stuff i did because i used to do that before i was actually a streamer <laughs> so well i technically i was still a streamer when i did that because i was streaming but like it was before i did this kind of content it was like irl stuff so i want to pair up my irl stuff and my vtuber stuff keep them separate but keep them the same kind of idea uh, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a half hour for each, so it would be 10 minutes on each thing instead of 15. Or 20, sorry. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how those work. Um, TikTok, I'm still trying to figure out, but what I've realized is replying to people's comments and commenting on other people's stuff just boosts you insanely big, and that's what I've been doing with my IRL one. So once we start making all these VTuber ones and they're going up again, uh, that'll be cool. Uh, do you have to do uh, Wednesday night busy and every other weekend and Monday nights every week for D and D. This weekend's my busy weekend. Then July week on week of busy. Uh, when is your always as busy? You got time this weekend and I'm down. Uh, then I said with the clown. Oh, get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, okay. That's what you meant by that. All right, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, hog. Do I need to mod there too? If you would like to, actually, it would be nice to have mods there, but I. would the reason that, like, I I love my mods here, don't worry. All of my Twitch mods, I love you guys, you're great. Um, I don't necessarily need mods because here I average, and at the moment, anywhere from 5 to, like, 25 viewers. But on there, I average, like, anywhere from, like, 100 plus, sometimes, like, 300. 
So, and I was, I didn't have any mods. So that's why I'm like pretty on top of things pretty quick. Unless I'm like tabbed into a game, which is someone else get that right now because I'll break the fucking game if I do that by tabbing out. My computer will have a seizure. Um, so that's why I like having mods on here. And I made Geki a mod on my TikTok because I can't be damned. Uh, I've gotten lazy. But like, yeah, I wouldn't mind having mods on there too. But like, it would be working with that schedule and Vex, you are not awake at that time. Like, the time that I'll be live on there would be like, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. my time. So, midnight to 2 a.m. for you. So. Baby, hello. Mouse doesn't need a mod on CB. I mean, <laughs> it would be nice, but, like, it's not necessary. Hey, guys, look, a trash, a trash merch again. Look at that, it popped up again. True, savage. Yeah. Sorry, Vex. Don't worry, I'll, I'll make it so I can save the VODs of it and I'll just record at the same time and then I'll upload it to the hub for you. You good? No. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, that type of stuff will be going up on the old web. <laughs> the repeats of streams. So Yeah. Gecky popping out there though. Ooh woo. Yeah, so ad starting soon. Uh oh Skedios. Thank God for technology. <laughs> God damn it. Maybe I should mod. Oh, I mean, Geki, I don't think that's something that you want to see, homie. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, actually, I'll read off my plans for what I plan to do for CB. Um, one called Hentai Hump Day. So that'll be my Wednesday stream. Even though it's technically Tuesday for me, it'll be Wednesday at 3 a.m. Um where I read hentai and play hentai games, because you're allowed to play games on there now, so yay. Um, and then the day, day after that is Tell You Thursday, uh, which is like erotic reading. So I'd be like explaining how different positions work, um, pretty much like going off of things from the Kama Sutra and like reading like maybe fan fiction stuff or like spicy novels. Why not? People like my voice. And then there's Fuck Around Friday, uh, which is we just chill talking and it. Yeah, that 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 do be the plan for that. Uh, you know a good way to find out a song name if Google is being a bitch. Um, I generally just have like an app on my phone that allows me to do it, or I just like Google the lyrics. Oh yeah, packing update. I finally got it done, but it I was manic, so that's probably why I get stuff done when that happens. Fair, fair. I've met a lot of people that are like that. Um, it's it's weird not having music. I want music right now, but I can't have music. Otherwise, if something funny happens, we won't have it. Because I won't be able to use it. Son of a bitch! Was that funny enough for a TikTok? Probably not. Let's try it. Ah. Alright, list that at six, bitch. Um, I think that's where we're at, right? Someone keep tally. Okay, I need someone to keep tally on this shit. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, I schedule my entire, like, life now, and it makes my life a lot easier. Suffer in silence? I kind of am. I kind of am. I mean, like, I could listen to music, but you guys wouldn't hear it. But that's not nice. And I shouldn't do that. Well, maybe I might. Turn it off from you guys being able to hear it, but I just listen. Uh, if you did the voice impression or impersonations you do, like Elmo, I think that'd be funny for a TikTok. Oh, what you thinking? What you thinking? Do it, you won't. Do it, I won't. I would. You know full well I'm an asshole like that. Hmm. What type of voice impressions do you guys want? Like, I obviously you say Elmo, but like, what would I say as Elmo? Just turn, look you in the eye, and go. You to go die. Just go run out in the traffic. Come on. Dorothy's gonna go out the window pretty soon if she doesn't fucking start going. I know you don't have legs. Just fucking go. Something like that? <laughs> I don't even know if I sounded like Elmo because it sounds different with headphones on. No, oh boy. There's also something I really want to learn how to do. Um, I want to figure out how to... Sorry, this is, like, where I am right now is actually inside the bounding box of a TikTok. Um, I actually have a template that you guys can't see. So, that's why I'm over here, as opposed to, like, 
over here. Like, this is, like, dead center of one. This right here is also dead center. And this is like, I'm in your face. But, yeah. Okay, headphones in. That was absolutely hilarious. I do my best. I'm not good. But you do my best. You're gonna fucking like it whether you uh, say you do or not. I'm going to show you that I am fucking funny. What is that, seven? Someone better be keeping tabs on this. Mo, what's up, homie? The first thing I heard when I joined the stream was Pingu saying fuck you. Fuck you! It's like, no, no, fuck you! I don't know if that really counts. Does that sound like new? Does that sound like Pingu? Nerd, nerd. Because I was trying to go for Elmo. I'm not gonna lie. But like normally, if I'm gonna do Elmo's voice, I'd be like, "Hello, baby. How you doing today? I gotta kick your ass, you piece of shit." I think that's about it. Nerd, nerd. Pingu. <laughs> I have no fucking clue where I'm at in life anymore. Help. Alright, someone, where are we at? Seven, eight? So what? Vex, this is your job now. This is, this is your job now. You gotta be keeping track of this shit. I'm too dumb for it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, also, M, hopefully this is making you laugh a little bit. I'm doing my best. <laughs> oh, I gotta correct my mic. Aren't you correcting? Ouchie. Oh, I'm breaking. Alright. Okay. Tracking. Return. Time to crack neck. Oh! I'm dying! Dying feels good. Oh! There, there's another one. God damn it, I'm fishing against in trash! What are we at, nine? What do you want? I want someone to keep tabs on how many we've done. Every time I ask Kat to do it, she's like, all right, we need 27. You mean 21? Seven times three, three a day, once a, like, on a week, you know, like, on a shit. Um. <laughs> Fuck your Genshin, Vex. I really gotta get back into Genshin. Oh, no funny shit so far. Zero. Oh, no. Wow. 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 Unmod Vex. Slash, remove from stream. <laughs> when your mods bully you. <laughs> All right. Uh, God, the silence is killing me. What do we do now? What do we do now? What do we do now? Where are we at? Someone keep track. Mama, I believe in you. All right, you can you can write. You can count to twenty one, right? Make Kermit say fuck you, kids. <coughs> no, fuck you! How dare you! And thank you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> hmm. My name is Kermit the Frog, and I would just like to say, um, fuck your mother. Ain't nobody like these kids nowadays. Y'all piece of shit. Vamanos, bitches, I'm off to go pork Miss Piggy. Let's go! We got another. It was six, right? No, it was like, we're at like nine now. What? Nine or ten? I'm not useful, though. Let's just say that we're at nine. I'll check afterwards. <laughs> Hopefully that made you laugh, Brendo. I hope so, Mo. If I didn't, well, I guess I'm garbage. Ten, then. Guess what the fuck? Okay, I'm getting upset with that thing. Why is it still like that? It'll change, but it doesn't change the amount that's there. What the fuck? It's supposed to be at zero. It's supposed to be at zero. I decided to call it the shawarma fund because I thought it'd be funny. And also, I was... I haven't ate today, so I really fucking hungry and that was the first thing that came to mind was make a big bowl of shawarma not that i'd be able to get it for at least a month and i'd need to hit payout anyways and i don't know if i'm going to be doing that because 
as I've told you guys like a million times. Um, PayPal is always better. <laughs> I make more money that way. And you spend less money. It's just a win-win. But, you know. Bits are good, too. But I figured I'd make a shawarma fund because your boy just really likes shawarma. I just like food in general. I'm not going to lie to you. I am a forever hungry person, so shawarma is good. Fire things I do. Ah, well, good enough. Boop, bop, bop, da, boop. Yeah. It's sad that that was why I made that a uh, quote unquote shawarma fun, but I'm just like, I like food. Shawarma well, costs like 30 bucks. Well, it's like 27 something, but 30 bucks, you know. This is big brain plays, boys. Big brain. Exactly. Okay. So, shawarma is a way of preparing meat. So, it's usually, it's beef or chicken, never pork, because it's Middle Eastern and, you know, they don't eat pork. Um, but it's, like, vertically skewered, and it's cooked that way. So, it, it's very yummy. Uh, it's seasoned in a way that, like, it, it's, just, it's just, I don't know how to explain it other than it's fucking delicious. Like, you can get shawarma normally, and you can get it on, like, a, like, a, a wrap type thing. But that's all right. Um, but I like it as a poutine, because it's so good. Oh my god. There's just something about putting shit on fries that makes it taste even better. It could just be that I'm Canadian. Chances are it's actually just because I'm Canadian, but like, poutine is the best thing that I can put in my body. Oh, you can take that however the fuck you want. Oh, Canada! We're gonna put that as 10. I assume that was funny. Fuck you. Honestly, yeah, like it, it's just like slow cooked on a skewer. So it's like how like a roast is like. But it's like more like. Kind of like going around. And then you're like, mm, I'm gonna go grab a big knife. I'm gonna go scoop, scoop, scoop. And you just like cut it all down. And then it's all yummy. And you, you top it with like hummus. And. With like sauces and cheese and green things that I've never known there was. I think it's partially, but I could be wrong. And sometimes you grab melted cheese, like cheddar cheese, like the nacho cheese, and you melt that on top, and you're like, oh my god, you guys are amazing. And it's just so yummy. And I love it. And I want it in my body. You know, it's really funny for anyone that doesn't know what my face looks like. They think this is just normal voices for this. And then they, if they actually know what I look like, they're like, why the fuck does he make these noises? Yeah, I will. Make that 11. It doesn't need to be funny things. I just like making things. All right. The TikToks don't need to hit because hit or miss. All right. I guess I never miss. All right. TikTok funny. <laughs> Please follow me. I need love and affection and food. There's another one. Twelve. I think I'm counting correctly. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <gasps> My social medias. They popped up over there. Click on it. Follow me on everything. You fucking degenerate. Got him. But no, it's actually fucking delicious. Like, shawarma's the best thing ever, man. I'm kind of upset that the the only place that's 24-hour shawarma around here tastes like shit. Like, it you have to get, like, the right place. Like, there's one place that has, like, the absolute best in my city. Everyone's like, eh, I don't really like them. I'm like, which location did you go to? And they're like, oh, this one. I'm like, that's why. And they're like, what? I'm like, go to the downtown location. They're like, why? And I'm like, because, number one, first one in the city. Um, this is actually the first one that ever popped up in all of Canada. 
Um, secondly, it is absolutely fucking delicious. So grab that. Actually, I could be wrong about the only thing, only one in Canada at first, but like, still, it was the first one in our city. So it was. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. It's my favorite thing. I wonder if I can find the video of it just so I can make myself hungry and show you. Let's see, let's see. Going to Facebook while I'm streaming. Definitely see. <laughs> There's no way in hell this could ever go bad for me. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Food breaks, I think. You're up to date on posts from favorites. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. Saved. It's saved that I wanted to look at. Uh, random. No. Food. That would make more sense. <gasps> I have a bunch of recipes in here I could post. Nice. I'm just making myself more hungry. It's not in here. Oh no. Um, I guess just go to saved items and scroll down. Why do I have Friday saved? Like Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. I had that saved on my Facebook, I guess. What the fuck? Make that 12. Someone keep track for me, okay? I'm too dumb to actually keep counting like this, okay? I'm doing my best. Way out here scrolling. And scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Oh, my old poetry. Probably delete that. That's looking bad. Just scrolling through Facebook right now. Well, not really scrolling through Facebook. Scrolling through my saved things on Facebook so I can. Why am I seeing a picture of an anime asshole on Facebook? And it's from Funimation? Okay. I guess I'm not going to complain. Just wasn't what I anticipated. Scrolling and scrolling and sc oh, there's a cute diva. Oh my gosh! Hey. It's gotta be in here. Come on. Probably saved it like forever ago, though. So we just searching. We're gonna be searching for a while. Going. Wow. That's an old post of which I never actually followed through with. Nice. I also have yet to see the thing I was looking for, so that's never good. <gasps> I found not exactly what I was looking for, but I found something. Okay, let me let me get this. Oh, stop. Stop. Go back to the beginning. Okay, okay. So we'll go to here, and then I will go uh, itty bitty ish. Okay, and then we'll do display capture. Okay, it's from Shelby. Um, they're all over Canada. Okay, look at this and tell me it's not the most delicious fucking thing you've seen in your entire fucking life. This is the onion ring one. Um, I used to only get the onion ring one. I don't get it anymore because, well, it, it, they, they changed the onion rings that they use. It just doesn't taste as good anymore. But like, watch this. All right, watch. Onion ring shawarma protein from Shelby's Food Express. Yeah. So like, this is a uh, one from like one of the town or cities. It's like a few like like an hour away. But like, whatever. Freshly carved shawarma are grilled to give them that extra crispy taste. Okay, we don't we don't need your noise. Just look at this and see how delicious it is. Yeah, you know what? We'll get we'll get noise. Then we place the shawarma on top of the onion rings. This is like this is what I get. They don't do mustard anymore. They have shawarma sauce, which doesn't taste as good. Some ketchup. Yeah, they don't use ketchup and mustard anymore. They have shawarma sauce, which is mustard and ketchup mixed with something. Yeah, it's like all three of those mixed together. Some sweet chili. So good. 
some honey garlic. Shower it with feta cheese. They literally make these so that you could see how to make it at home, by the way. They even made like tutorials on how long to cook, like cook your fries and stuff. Two spoons of our homemade garlic sauce. It's so good. Add some of our original spicy garlic sauce. Oh my goodness, so yummy. Sprinkle it with parsley. Ta da! But look at it! It's delicious! Just know that any time that you have set me shawarma, it doesn't quite look like this anymore, but it is this. It is this. I'm gonna start making it at home, I swear to God. If I could afford to, I would. I don't know if I can make shawarma at home, but like, I can make like pulled pork. Yeah, it worked the same. Oh, that's big brain. Oh, that's big brain. That that's some big brain right there. I could use pulled pork. Oh my god. Yeah, this shit is absolutely fucking delicious, though. That is my favorite food in the world. And now I'm fucking starving even more than I was. But now you know why. I am always like, shawarma, shawarma, shawarma. Right? Like, oh, it's so good. It's delicious. Yum, yum. Now you guys understand. For those that haven't seen it before, now you understand. They also make a Doritos one. And it's like, ah, Give me that. Give me that shawarma. They use the sweet chili heat, they use the original, and they use Cool Ranch. And then they do all that to it. And it's like, oh, god damn, nice. I mean, I like the beef more than the chicken, but like, it's still so yummy. I'll eat both. It's so good. Oh. I've given myself hunger depression. <laughs> Time to eat a cookie in hopes that that makes up for it. Come on, Cookie. You're as satisfying as an actual meal, right? Let's see. It's just not as good. Alright, mark another one. <laughs> Now, I, like, I just shoved, like, a whole cookie in my mouth. So I wasn't able to talk that whole time, so I was like, hum, 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 hum. All right, but how many of you guys are actually jealous now? That that's what I, I get when someone orders me shawarma. Like, Shelby's themselves are like, oh, my God, so good. They used to make, like, home videos where, like, Buddy made it in his kitchen and showed you how to do it all. But, like, they don't use mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and whatever the fuck else. Jelly, I love real food, right? Right? And now you see why I made that meme where it says PayPal lean money for shawarma. Because I want that in my body. Now, again, it's not as good on the onion rings anymore. Onion rings are still really good. Like, I love onion rings more than fries. Uh, I know, a little bit baffling to some people that I like onion more than potato. But, their onion rings aren't as good anymore. Because they started getting them somewhere else. And I was like, man, this is like shit. So, because they got rid of their onion rings for a long time. And then at request of us bitching and complaining, some people were like, why'd you get rid of the onion rings? They brought them back, but they got it from somewhere else, and it just doesn't taste the same. We're like, all right, well, no one wants this anymore. And then, uh, they changed from the mustard ketchup barbecue sauce and the sweet chili sauce or whatever. To, was it chili sauce or was it sweet and sour sauce? Whatever, you know what I'm saying. The other sauce that was there. Uh, it's all of that mixed together in one container. It just doesn't taste the same. But that video is still on Facebook, so I know how to make it now. I should really just download that video and then just like write out the recipe and then do it myself. That's a big brain blight. It was sweet chili sauce in the video. Okay, cool. See, I have a small brain. 
I'm very stupid. Five head, small brain. Big hollow spot for brain. Where it just sits there and goes like, oh, I can't, I can't knock my head out actually and make that noise because I have headphones on. Not earbuds. Damn. But yeah, it's so young. But I'm gonna just get all that shit at home and just make it myself. And I, I don't think I can make shawarma at home. But like, Chicken is chicken, beef is beef, pork is pork. Now that they normally make pork, but like making pulled pork, not hard. No. So you just use pulled pork instead. I've always wanted to try it, so why not? That'd be a cool stream, actually. Or like a cooking shawarma sh stream? That was hard to say. That should not have been hard to say, but that was hard to say. Cooking shawarma stream. That would be nice. Would you guys ever want to do that? Actually, we wouldn't call it cooking shawarma because there's no way I'm going to be able to make, like, an actual shawarma thing. But cook along? Yeah. But, like, we could make, like, a... Hmm. What would we call it? Because it's a poutine, technically. So, I want to make it too. Yeah. So, we could do, like... I need to come up with a cool name for it. Something poutine stream. Hmm. hmm. Any ideas? Any ideas what we should call it? If we ever do that, not that I think I actually would, but like, it would be neat. And technically, it would be a tax write-off because I used it for work. So all the ingredients wouldn't cost me anything. Well, I mean, I get a tax try at the end of the year, but... Hmm. I'd also have to make it in a way that, like, is easy enough for people to do because like not everyone has an air fryer i used to we don't anymore because the roommate it was hers so when she moved out she took it with her obviously so they'd have to be like oven bake fries because deep frying is not easy for everyone but no big deal but it would be cool i want to do that and we could like barbecue up something so it will be like meat of choice so maybe like i'll like cook up chicken and like beef and pork all at the same time. And I'll probably just barbecue it all. That'd be cool. And then just make like a shit ton of fries. I'll go to like the dollar store and I'll grab like one of them big tins. And it'll be like, it's meant for like a turkey or something. But I just fill it with fries. And then I'll put different sections for different meats. That'd be so good. That'd be dope, actually. I, that's, 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 I, I'm convincing myself to do this the more I speak. Like, this is a good idea. This is a dangerous idea. I don't want to get back into cooking. That's expensive. Help. Another one. Do it. Mama has spoken. Mama spoke. All right. M, are you still here? What does daddy say? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mom and Dad say. Much as Ebb is just like, like, passed the fuck out, like, nah, I would listen to this dumbass, and I fell asleep because he bored me. He said it. <clears throat> Daddy. There you go, Vex. Fucking degenerate. Yeah, I guess that works as a clip. <laughs> Sorry, I heard my name, but I kind of zoned out. Gotcha. Uh, I was more so saying about a type of stream and what your opinion on it was, but if you were zoned out, don't worry about it. It's all good. Hmm. Mama, where are we at? No worries. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We care about you here. You might not be here often, but you're one of us, and we love you. You understand? We love you. Bitch! Stuck with us! One of us! You're here forever! But no, seriously, I hope you get better, and I care about you. So, yeah. Guys, I'll fight Satchel, too. Okay, uh, what do we want to do now? What do we do now? What do we do? Where are we at? 
Mama Shosha, where are we? What is our number? We had 11, 12? I don't know. Gotta get 21. We're at the hour mark, but I mean, obviously we were talking for a little bit about other stuff too, so. Uh, do it especially if it can be a tax write-off. Uh, 12 now? Okay, okay. <gasps> Seamus, hello, friendo. How are you doing? We're currently making TikToks. Well, actually, I was just showing them shawarma, um, the shawarma that I get, and it is so fucking good. And everyone was like, well, we gotta make that 12? Yeah, 12. Okay. They, I showed them what it is that I, when people order me food, and I'm like, I'm starving to death. And then they said shawarma, and I'm like, this is why I love it. And then they're like, oh shit, that looks good. And then now we're discussing a, a future stream where I actually make it myself. And I want to make like a big platter of it, of different types of meat. Because technically, I wouldn't be making shawarma, but I would be making poutine in a similar sense of the shawarma poutine that I get. Where it has like pulled pork, chicken, and beef on it. Um, and they'd be in their own sections. Because technically, you, there's no such thing as pork shawarma because, you know, it's Middle Eastern food. And obviously, if you're from the Middle East, you know, if you're Islamic or if you're Jewish, you don't eat pork because it's against your religion. So, makes sense. But. Motherfucker, Electro, what's up, homie? Someone put this ball in their ball. Who's gonna do it? Damn it, Vex, you've already got one! <laughs> oh, wrong spot. Over there. Damn. But... Yeah, so we're here. debating doing a cook along stream at some point. Where I'll be like, hey, look at me, your barbecue and whatnot. But it'd be an IRL stream, obviously. Not like, oh, there's my little VTuber thing and it's just my hands. You see, I'd be like, nah, man, I'm just using my fucking phone for this. And I'd just, like, stream with my phone. There wouldn't be a bunch of alerts and stuff, but, like, it'd be there. What else should we make? Like, any ideas for funny things, or you guys got funny things that you want me to say? So, like, you just type it down in chat, and then I'll, like, read it off, and then I'll reply or something. I don't know. We gotta come up with some plans, some ideas, some stuff. I want to be popular on the TikTok on my main account, not my side account. I can already go live on the side account. This was what I care about more. Actually, I love them both, but, you know. I'm a cute anime boy in this one. Mark down another one. I'm doing my best. Where are we at? 13, 14? Gotta get 21. At least. Because some of them are just gonna be absolute garbage and I'm gonna have to delete. But. Come on, guys. You can't be inactive. This is a trash stream. Guys are supposed to make noise and be annoying. Because you usually bully me. Fuck you. Mark another one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, no one games, little boy. So let's see if I have one. Do I? I do not. I'm gonna get him. Damn it. Hmm. Seamus, what's your day been like? You had a good day? A fun day? Interesting day? Shitty day? It's been shit. I don't want to hear about it. It's a good vibe zone. <laughs> oh, boy. The silence is very over overbearing. <laughs> Let's get this bitch. Save the ball. Yeah! I caught the motherfucker. Fuck you, Vex. <laughs> Alright, I guess I marked another one. I'm just like randomly saving things that I think potentially could be funny. 47 out of 151. I'm already catching up to Vex. God damn. And I barely ever try to catch Pokemon. <laughs> hmm. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Also, are you guys cool with like Oblivion later after uh, we do the horror floor recordings? Cause like I kind of want to play Oblivion. I think I have it installed. Hmm. 
The goal is catch up to Cat. I don't care about you. Watch. Once I beat you, I'll be able to beat her too, and I'll be like, ha ha, I got the most. Ayo? What are we ayo one about? Alright, that's no music. I just want background noise. Oblivion? Yeah. Yeah. Because Oblivion is better than Skyrim. Don't at me. It's facts. Skyrim is literally the exact same story as Oblivion, just with dragons instead of Maker and Stagon. It's one to one. Like, literally one to one. And Oblivion's DLC is better. Save for the horse armor. But just the fact that they have, like... Like, their horses in general are better anyways. I love it. It's so deep fried. Wait, what? The fuck is deep fried? What do you mean? What is deep... Are you saying Oblivion is deep fried? What? Oblivion is so memeable. What the fuck? I mean, you're right. <laughs> but, like, it, it's better than Skyrim by, like, a long shot. I mean, the only thing it doesn't have that's... Actually, no, Skyrim's got just as bad. I was gonna say, it doesn't have a diverse, like, voice acting. It's, like, three or four people, but Skyrim's the same. So. That's what Deep Red means? Gotcha. Okay, that's what I assume. But no. Oblivion's got such better quests than Skyrim, and it's like a much more memorable story. Like, you're literally going into hell. Skyrim? Oh, I know the big lizard's back in the sky. Look at that bitch. Ooh, spooky. Ugh. We just reused everything, but instead of Mehru's Dagon, we got Alduin. Oh no! Dragons just popped up in this random location. A literal gate to hell popped into this location. Oh shit. Now there's an entire dungeon for me to do. Okay. As opposed to, look, there's a big lizard in the sky. Don't at me. Oblivion is way better than Skyrim. And Skyrim's just a rehash of the exact same story. Mark another one. We're gonna have that as a controversial take. If I don't get my package before I leave, I will commit crimes. It's a new battery and charger for my camera. I ordered it weeks ago, and they keep changing the day I'll get it. Oh, rip. I fucking hate when they do that. Lizard people time. Wait, you guys want me to play an Argonian when we play later? That's, like, easy mode. What? Water breathing and poison immunity? What the fuck? Why would I want that? It's easy mode. 14 now? Dope. Like, that's... Nah, man. Argonian is easy mode. Plus extra melee damage because claws? Nah. Nah. That's dumb. That's easy mode. Argonians are cool, but they're like easy mode. I can't do that. Fine, human time, because you want to be a basic bitch? What? You mean you want me to have a, a, a player that earns skills quicker? Levels up faster? Really? What the hell, man? God. Look at Vex out here, not even knowing a Bolivian character's style. Oh, you already got a slow poke. You yeah, slow poke. But nah, like I'm thinking, I, I almost always play Wood Elf because the uh, archery advantage, because I always play Sneaky Archer because I don't mean to. It just always happens. Okay, we'll never even play to Oblivion or Skyrim. Wow! I'm not sure if I should be impressed or depressed. I'm gonna go with both. Right, mark another one, why not? My buttons aren't activating. Oh god. Okay, maybe it was. 
them both because that's how I feel. Yeah. I don't know. I used to play Skyrim on stream all the time. I did like an ultra hard mode. Like, I made, I set the game to the highest difficulty. I added a shit ton of mods that made the game look completely different. Um, there was significantly more enemies, and, like, I did, like, a fraction of the damage of what I was supposed to, and things did more damage. And I set it so that daytime moved, like, the hours moved incredibly slow. So it was, like, an hour in-game was, like, an hour and a half in real life. And I only played at nighttime, so I couldn't go and buy stuff. And I had to, like, pretty much force myself to be sneaky. And the only advantage I gave myself was if I could sneak up on someone, I could, like, insta-kill them from behind with, uh, a, like, the melee murder assassinate type thing. And it gave me the option to assassinate. But, like, because it was so hard to level up, my sneak was so low all the time. So, it was... Getting caught was fairly common. So, having that advantage was very, very, um, rare. Okay, so, quick question. Husband requests me to bring me his gaming PC shit, and, uh, didn't tell me how to pack it. Shit's fragile as hell. Help. Packing it last minute because it's what we use to watch Disney+, Plus, etc. So, like, help, what the fuck do I do? Uh, are you taking a plane, train, or driving? with the question mark driving okay um literally just un like unplug everything off the back of it um well when you turn it off right there's a little switch on the power supply at the back it's usually at the bottom of a pc but depending on the, the pc it could be at the top there's a little switch at the back where the power cable goes in switch that off pull out the power cable and then hold the power button on the front of the pc or top of the pc um for like three or four seconds because that'll take out all of the power out of it because now it's got like no power in it at all and it'll just drain all the energy that was left in it so that nothing can like short on accident and then you just make sure everything's all unplugged and if you're bringing it in a car uh, you could put it in a box um, I personally would like put it in a seat and strap it with like blankets around it depending on the price of this PC of course like if it's a good gaming PC like, if it's my PC then I would care about it a lot but that's only because this is my work but, like, my old PC that I had, I had just been like, throw it in the trunk. That's all I did when I moved. Fuck it. It's in there. You know? Um, yeah, so, like, make sure it's, like, strapped in with blankets around it, just in case. And then monitors, you know, it's a monitor. Just make sure that you pretty much do the same thing. Make sure it's, like, kept somewhere that it's not going to slide around. But, like, it, it's really not that bad to pack up something. Keyboard and mouse, they can probably just, like, sit in the trunk. Like, it's not going to hurt nothing. But, like, strapping in the PC is a smart way to do it. Especially if you, like, wrap it in a blanket. Preferably a thick blanket, like a comforter. That way it can't go nowhere. Like a duvet. Duvet. Duvu. You know, like, that kind of thing. That's how you protect the PC. You're strapping in like a fucking baby. And then drive as fast as you can and hope you hit nothing. Because you don't want it in that vehicle for too long. Mark another one. Uh, Toki. Did you know Mortal Kombat is actually based on an old Scandinavian church song? I did not know that. That's actually fucking dope. Do you know the name of the Scandinavian church song? Because now I would love to learn about that. Because I'm going to research that after stream. That actually sounds awesome. It's based on a Finnish hymn. Oh. that That's actually kind of really cool. You spent, I think, 1800 In my opinion, that's expensive. But no, that is not expensive for a PC. That is, not, that is like, cheaper than a graphics card. Um, not trying to be responsible for breaking it. Thank you. It's a six uh, or a six to seven hour drive. So like, ah, yeah, just like pretty much wrap it in a thick blanket and then strap it in. Like it sounds stupid, but like that's the best way to do it. Or you put it like in a, again, a thick blanket and put it between the front and back seat. And so it can't move. But uh, the monitor is pretty much just, you know, wrap it well enough that it can not get damaged or just drive safe there's always that option you know like put it in there and hope for the best banana hi i love you mark another one because that was an interesting reaction 
this and that's expensive to me, but I'm also the person that's like, $10 is expensive. Okay, I feel you on that, but hear me out on that. That 1800 like, it, I'm going to quickly, I live in Canada, so my pricing is a little bit different, but I'm just going to look up the best graphics card that's out right now. So, GTX 3090, okay. Or, sorry, RTX, not GTX. Um, RTX 3090 Ti. Okay. And I will look on... Well, Best Buy is pretty much the closest place I can check. Um, available to ship. Sold and shipped by Best Buy. Yeah, that's great. Where's your price? $2,599 for just a graphics card. Okay. Uh, let's go to Newegg, uh, which is, again, a, a good place to buy shit. $2,099. 2599 dollars $2,699. $2,799. Because they're different brands of that same card. Uh, yeah. $1,800? That's still... That's a good price for a PC. But again, I'm just looking up the best card that's out right now, but that's like what a lot of people end up getting in their PCs right now. So, yeah. Uh, hell no. Nah, we use Newegg. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. So, nah, like, it, $1,800 is like, uh... Um, a high mid, not a mid high, a high mid PC, right? So that probably has like a 20 series card in it, or um, a, like a 1080 Ti, but it, it could have a 20 series or a 30 series even. It could have a 3060, um, or a, even a 3070, depending, right? If it was pre-built or not, like if he built it himself. It used to be the other way around where pre-builts cost more and they had less quality and building it was cheaper. Now it's the other way around because of the cost of graphics cards because you know, like, uh, cryptocurrency and whatnot, crypto mining, um, graphic cards are super expensive. So, the price of them went up, which means that gamers got affected by that as well. So, it, it just really bites for everyone. Like, graphics cards should not be anywhere near as expensive as they are. But, you yeah, know. Mind you, the 2080 uh, Ti, when it came out, it was like th a little over three grand. And then, literally, like, a bunch of people were buying it, and then, like, the 30 series was released, and it was, like, priced at, like, a thousand something. Um, obviously, the price has gone up since, you know, crypto got more popular since COVID, but all that. Uh, I recently had to fix this power supply. It felt genius, and it was pre-built. How did you fix the power supply? What do you mean by that? Like, replace it? Because you don't take apart a power supply unless you really know what you're doing. Because that is not a smart idea. If it was just like, you know, swapping a, a PSU, that is super easy, man. Come on. Mama out here thinking she big brain. <laughs> yeah, you're judging. Banana says, hey, hey. What up, you Uh, Geki, are you still here, Holmes? Ah, cut the fucking Pidgey. It need to replace? Yeah, so you just unscrewed four screws, unplugged all the shit that was plugged into it, and then pulled it out and put it in it. <laughs> BB 20% cute? I call blasphemy and bullshit. That is not true. BB is always 100% a cutie. How cute am I today? Eleven percent, are you fucking kidding me? Got it. There's another one. All right, how gamer am I? Six out of ten. I'm above average. Hell yeah. All right, what are we at? 15, 14, 12, 21. Yeah. Banana, two out of ten gamer. Oof. Oof. It's not a good day for you, man. Check out. Oh, man. Fourteen? Vex at 41% cute. Banana at 34. Vex an 8 out of 10 gamer calling bullshit. She uses a Mac. Um. <laughs> Vex, you already said 15. Why are you saying 14 now? Who piece of shit? That means we're at 16. 
Vex, if you're gonna keep count, you gotta actually write down the number. Because I'm a pro Genshin player? You're not. You're not. How, how, uh, how good are you as Diluc? Or wait, do you even have him yet? <laughs> oh, man. He's probably gonna be upset. <laughs> Listen, may have been four screws and shit, but when it started working, I felt genius. I don't do baking stuff or anything like that, so I felt genius. Okay, okay, I get you. You did a simple plug-in point. Gaming. I know you meant gaming. Okay, what five stars do you have? Me? You want me to load it up and tell ya? Auto correct fuck off, damn it. You do you have all four stars? No, didn't think so. Uh, I have a bunch of five stars, homie. And I didn't spend no money on the game. I, uh, what other names? I got, uh, Raiden last time I played. That was pretty cool. So I want to level her up. Uh, Diluc is a five star. Uh, who else do I got? Uh, I used to screenshot them and send it to you. So you know why I've got five stars. Uh, I haven't played that game in months, though, so you can't blame me for not knowing all I've got. I popped on for like a little bit just because Raiden was available and I ended up getting her. Been fishing for Raiden trying to get the catch, I know. Oh, I already got Raiden, so heh, <laughs> get fucked. It was like my third pull that day. Uh, God, what else do I have? So confused. I'm trying to think. It's been too long since I fucking played. I couldn't tell you. Let me just like quickly Google Genshin five stars. I'll tell you which ones I have. Genshin five stars. The catch is a weapon, so I'm literally fishing in Genshin. Oh, okay, got you. List of all five star characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have Aloy, but I think everyone does. They Luke. I believe I've got Eula, but I could be wrong. Uh, I've got Hu Tao. This is all the five stars, right? Yeah. I have Hu Tao. Um, I think I have Ito, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, I have Kaching. She's a four star, isn't she? No, she's a five star. Um, I don't have Klee yet. Uh, still don't have Chi Chi, which is upsetting. Raiden, I do have. Um, uh, everyone has Traveler. Uh, I have Yoimiya, and I think that's all. Wait, does Noel count as a five? No, it's not a five star. Why is it showing Noel? Say, she's a four star. Why is she in that? I got Chi Chi get wrecked. Nah. Although he's a three star character. Shuss? What is Shuss? Yeah, that's why I didn't count Aloy. I was like, yeah, Aloy is listed as five star. But, like, come on. Everyone got it. Shush. Uh huh. But not like, uh, yeah, Aloy feels like a three. Like, I would sooner use what's her fucking face, uh, flame archer bitch that you get at the start of the game with the bunny. Forget her name. I don't know. My team is like Hu Tao, Dai Luke, um, Barbara, and Sayu. That was my team. Amber? Yeah, that's the name. Yeah. I'd rather use Amber than Aloy. Like, Aloy is just... Oh, she's a C tier. So, yeah. I think I have Eula though as well, but I could be wrong. I know I have Hu Tao, who apparently is SS tier. Of which, honestly, if... I remember when I was good at the game. Oh my god, she was very fucking good. Fast as fuck, shit ton of damage. And then swapping between her and Diluc was just insane. 
Uh, I got 10 counting the Traveler, but the 9 I have are Raiden, Chi Chi, Ayato, Xiao, Hu Tao, Zhongli, Child, Mona, and Jean. Jean. That's not 5 star. John's not five star. Yes, the pants went white too. I was just looking at the five star list. I didn't see her. What does she have a different name? Okay, rarity is five star, but on the list of five stars. They list her as a different name. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I just missed her. That was all. I scrolled too quick, yeah. No, you're right, you're right. Why are we talking about Genshin? We're supposed to be making TikToks. Fuck you! There's another one. That's what, 16 now? 17? I don't even know. You guys are supposed to be writing this down. I'm too dumb. I quit when Venti was top. I had Venti, Annoying Fireboy, Maid Knight, and Barbara. Annoying Fireboy is the most accurate way to explain that motherfucker. I know exactly who you're talking about. I don't know his name either, but that is the most accurate way of putting it. And then Noelle is pretty cool. I don't like Noelle. Everyone's like, oh, she's so good. I'm like, and she's kind of a shit Geo. I only use her because she's one of my only Geos. And Barbara's a badass, so. 16, I guess. Poor Bennett. Fuck Bennett. He's a piece of shit. He's like, oh, he's really good. He's really fucking annoying. That's what he is. There are so much better fire swordsmen, right? Like, both Hu Tao and Dai Luke are insanely better than him. But, yeah. I don't know. I use Sayu as my NMO because, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, pretty much. I just roll around at the speed of sound and I set people on fire or electricity or whatever the fuck else element I picked up. Because Adamant. And also that healing. Oh my god, the healing. Like, having uh, a healer, and then if you set Sayu as, like, a tank, like, she's, like, so well-rounded that she could be, like, a tank, a healer, and a DPS all at the same time. And you just drop your ult, or what do you call those? Like, your Q or whatever? I don't know. You drop that. I have it set to my mouse button, so I don't know. You drop that, and then, like, you just roll around in it with, like, an effect going, and then they all get hit by that effect multiple times, and you're getting healed. And then if you also have Hu Tao, like, you can go in that and get a bunch of healing, and then, like, attack a whole bunch. Make sure you get damage enough so you stay under half health. And then, yeah, just, like, end up using her ultimate move, and then you get a bunch of health back, and then you just keep fighting. Let things hit you. So good. Yeah, well, that's what I thought it was called. Uh, main team is either Raiden, Chi Chi, Yanfei, and Zhang Li. Or Xiao or sometimes Sucrose, but I need to level her up. That's fair. That's fair. Also, hi, Yamis. We're making TikToks, but uh, Vex doesn't know how to count, apparently. And everyone else got quiet because we started talking about Genshin. We're supposed to be done making TikToks about 20 minutes ago, actually. But, you know, we're still going. Because once we're done doing TikToks, we have to record a bunch of stuff from my horror channel. Also, it occurred to me that all this music that we're playing right now is actually, like, copyright-free music. So, it doesn't matter if it's in the background. So, it's actually technically less editing for me. Alright. Yamish, do you have any funny things? Am I doing... One, two, four, nine, seven, six, three. Am I doing this right? I know how to count. See? Simple as that to make TikToks. They don't even need to be good. They just need to be humorous. Yeah, so like, I don't know. Random things that you guys want me to say, I don't mind doing. And then that's the TikTok. Also, I have been boosted to high hell. God damn. Yomash hops in seven minutes ago and just goes boost. And that's what happened. But I, I guess, uh, 
I guess Gacky is in here. Always gonna talk to him. But he, he's not here. He's probably actually in chat. He just didn't reply or hear me when I messaged or said something to him. Later. No, he ain't here. God damn. The Gek did leave. He probably went to bed. Or got busy. It be what it be. <clears throat> and Banana's in here lurking. He's probably playing Destiny. Yeah. So, uh, next Monday, we're going to be doing Halo again. We were going to have Banana join us. But unfortunately, Banana and I checked yesterday. He's only able to join us for Halo 3 in Halo 3 ODST. Uh, which is weird. But that's because he's doing cross-platform. He's using his Xbox. For some reason, instead of doing them in, you know, chronological order, they did 3 and 3 ODST before everything else. So, whatever. I'm a boomer. I'm not allowed to talk about TikTok. Bro, I just blew up on TikTok like a day or two ago. Like, my IRL account kind of went boom. And then a lot of people like my shit now. I mean, enough so that I went from like three or 400 followers to like, oh, like I'm probably at 1,500 by this point. Like, every time I check my phone, it's just like filled with TikTok notifications. Like, I have to swap which TikTok, uh, TikTok account I'm on to not have my phone filled with notifications going off every like three seconds. But yeah, I'm at like I was at 1400 last I checked, and after a thousand, you're able to live stream and make money on there. So I was like, I literally was just talking about relationship or like dating stuff. Like, hey, um, your understanding of what a date is is incorrect. Thinking that because they took you for a hike, they're a serial killer or they're poor. Okay, serial killer maybe. Poor? What the fuck is wrong with poor people? For one. For two, do you not like nature? And then like the other pair was uh. Talking about, like, taking people out for coffee. Like, if I make a fucking... It, like, if I make a fool of myself when we're on that date, um, if we're at a fine dining thing, walking away is not easy in that situation because you're already dressed up, you're pretty, you have to be there for that fucking meal. You already paid for it. Or you're going to be paying for it. So, you can't just dip a coffee. You just grab a coffee, fucking get to know the person, you know? It's all that stressful, too. It's about damn time you caught something, Vex. God damn. How long has it been since you've been able to catch a damn Pokemon? But you did it. There's another one. Alright, um... Shut the fuck up. You got streamer look. I, you know full well that is not a thing for me. Started talking about ad runs. Oh, oof. Or you kill it. Hold on, let me check. I'm gonna go to Google Translate and see what they said. Maybe they just don't know English. Who knows? I am your only viewer. I've been creating the illusion over the years that a lot of people are watching you, but that was me. Well, that's kind of humorous. But I mean, like, why did you say it in Russian? That's what it says. Okay, bitch. There we go, another one. Hey, what are we at? 17, 18? Bad I'm allergic to corn. How are you allergic to corn? And how did you just learn that? Like, bro, what? Is this a new allergy? Is shit? Cause that sucks, man. There's a lot of shit made with corn. Like shit that you wouldn't even think about. Almost everything had corn in it. Yeah. It must be a new allergy if you're just discovering that now, cause holy shit. Like, I don't think people realize how much... Um... Shit is actually like made with like different things. Count created April eighth, twenty twenty. All right, I'm gonna tell you this once, and once only, because my moderator already did. English only. 
My mods love their band hammers. Just saying. English chat. It resurfaced. Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Well, what what is an alternative to corn? You could have peas. You could have peas. I don't think peas are gonna work quite the same, but you know. Arthos. I don't know what that means, homie. So light allergies, so it doesn't cause puffing, but causes tightening. Oh, tightening probably. Should I type it in Russian? Nah. English only. That should be enough. Well, in German, they just said paper. And... Hart says... It's Vietnamese and still is the same word, so. Yeah, right, well, well. We uh, hit him with the. Boop. Sayonara. Told you English enough times. Come on, homie. Um, sort of stalked your main TikTok account, and I think the nature stuff is. Uh, nice. Lol. Kind of nice to hear the forest sounds and not normal stuff, personally. See? See, it's funny that you call it my main TikTok, because that's actually my side TikTok. My main one's the VTuber thing. Damn, stole my kill. <laughs> when the mods want to murder, but you hit the ban hammer first. Get fucked. There's another one. So what's that? What number are we at, guys? Mama? Vex? Where are we at? Yeah, my IRL TikTok's actually my side stuff. Okay, either way. I figured it was... I mean, nope. That was what I was literally just talking about. That my side account blew up my main account that has that was having three videos go up a day. It didn't at all. But just some random one about me talking about dating on my side account because I was bored and I wanted to reply to it. Uh, that one blew up. So now I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to start. I go to the river every fucking morning. I might as well just record something while I'm there. Like, it's not hard. Yeah, that's my side account. And it is now twice as big as my main account. So now I have to make content for that as well, which means I need to figure something out in my schedule for that, which you guys already saw my schedule, and you're going to be like, God damn. So, yeah. Oh, there's an unban request. Down or what? Oh, those are bad words. They called me a racist, but they dropped the, 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 the N bomb and the the F bomb for gay people. Well, jokes on you, cause my uncle is darker than the jeans I wear, and I'm an emo kid, and I do suck dick. So, who is the real issue here? Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Thank you for the cocktail. Mark another one. Hat <laughs> deny. I'm just gonna reply with, sir, this is, how do I, hold on, I need to do it, I need to do the, un, I'm gonna deny it, but I'm gonna translate from English to Russian. Sir, this is a Wendy's. doesn't work because of how it works l plus ratio plus you are russian <laughs> yeah you guys are the bad guys right now shut up um i'm gonna say a taco bell that'll work Send deny decision. Sir, this is Taco Bell. 
Right, that sexy trash face is just too much for the TikTok you girls. Honestly, though, like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I actually had a girl see who was just like, marry me. And I replied with, like, the, oh, kind of face, like, the embarrassed one. And she's like, oh, I made him shy. And I just replied with, heh. And then I looked at her account, and she was actually hella cute. And then, you know, I, of course, followed. And then, uh, she uh, decided to message me. And now we have each other on Snapchat. <laughs> Your boy, do get the e-girls. Fuck you. 18. Uh, random creepy ghost facts. Uh, I don't know if that'll really work for this TikTok. Like, my IRL one, maybe. Like, that is something I want to get into on my IRL one. is nature stuff, creepy, spooky stuff. And then, like maybe mildly depression things because like that always hits well <laughs> those sounds just trend constantly so i might as well use them they want to be a dumb i'll be a dumb ass back there do it i mean there are places that speak russian that are not evil i mean ukraine does my joke was the fact that the, he was using russian don't worry about it i get it one of my closest friends is latvian they use russian so i get it don't worry i'm just trying to be fun this guy was an asshole? Yeah. Don't worry about it, Yomish. It's all Gucci. We got this. Ghost ASMR. Hello. Hello. Like your ghost ASMR? Alright, there we go. Another one. Sure, why not? 19. Will it actually count? Who knows? Will I use them all? Probably not. We'll find out. That's a lot of highlighting to do after stream. Goddamn. Okay. I don't like this song. Vibe it. <laughs> Alright, uh, any ideas for the final tickety tack? We'll probably do a couple more, but you know, final tickety tack. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. Hmm. It's long. We have to come up with something funny, guys. You know this. Funny is I can normally come up with like 50 in an hour sometimes because we'll just be talking and having dumb conversations. But apparently it's a dead night tonight. We don't have anyone but Vex and Yamas talking with me. Mama talks a little bit, but you know. <laughs> Our room is also getting very fucking warm. Also, Vex is probably gonna swoon a little bit shortly once we start getting into the horror stuff because I'll be talking in like a deeper tone than my natural voice. It'll still be my natural voice, but like a deeper tone of it. Um, and I'll just be reading out spooky stuff. And music could technically play during it because I use recording from another program. Oh fuck yeah, Bob. <laughs> when you're <laughs> when you're fucking mods or simps. She can't even tier 3 no more though. Literally the whole tier 3 sub was called tier 3 simps just for her. And now she's broke. <laughs> tier 3 for too long. <laughs> oh god. True. Okay Vex, go work your ass off and then be a simp for me again. <laughs> the fall of the simp. Oh no. With depression strikes. Damn. Come on, Vex. What else are Sims good for? Give me your money. <laughs> this is a disclaimer. Please do not waste your money on VTubers. Spend it if you'd like to, not if you are being told to. Because we're pieces of shit ourselves. <laughs> 
Dating advice is hot because so many scared kiddos. Honestly, dating advice is super easy. Uh, don't be a dick, take him out for coffee, and don't be a weirdo on that date. Anyone says that coffee is not a good first date, it's a public place so you can be safe. Alright, it is inexpensive, so if they are a piece of shit and they decide to put the bill on you somehow, um, guess what? It's not costing you a whole lot. And if you are uncomfortable, you can just get up and go. Easy peasy. Dating advice. There you go. Dating advice from trash. Now follow me, you idiot. Is this financial domination? Did you want to be finished? With him? I'm sorry, what? I might do that when I'm on CB. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I feel like I could probably do it pretty well. Be like, really, you worked all day just for me, didn't you? Like, I feel like I could do that. I feel bad because I don't like getting money from people, but like, if that's what they want, I feel like I could do that. Probably. You know how hard it would be, though, to not do funny voices while I'm trying to do that? Because, like, I'm all about making funny voices. So. Oof. Okay. Are you guys ready for spooky stories now? Because we've got to have enough by now. I think we're good. Alright, alright. Do you guys want me to turn off the music or do you want me to put on, like, um, spooky music? It won't be like the spoopy music that I'll be using because it won't be safe to do that because I'll be recording through Audacity instead of taking from the VOD, but... My computer's like, why are you doing so much? Uh, skip the update. Put on that TikTok spooky music on the movie summary TikTok. <laughs> Not either, fuck. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna... You're gonna tell me what to search up, Bex. I, I don't watch movie summaries, dude. I don't watch movies. <laughs> Give me a sec, I don't know the name. Oh my god, I'll just search up spooky playlist then. Or creepy playlist. Or copyright free. Buy beats for streamers, volume one. Copyright free creepy. That's gotta give me something, right? Ah, I'll just find it on YouTube. I don't even have enough time to play a game tonight. Carry music royalty free. Alright, let's see this playlist. How long is it? Alright, goodbye music. Alright. How loud is this gonna be? I'm afraid. TikToks of horror movie fails? Nah, no, no, no. Okay, now it's um, I'm recording stuff for my horror channel, like my horror YouTube. 
uh, which also does go on the TikTok because I have a horror TikTok as well, but I just need to get back to making content for it. But this music that you're hearing is not going to be for the video. I've already got my own music downloaded. But I will be reading off stuff and recording it. Got five stories, and they're all relatively short that I want to record. Um, now I'm aiming for like shorter stories because more consistent uploads that way. Um, but like it, it's really not that difficult. I'm just gonna move my mic a little bit closer because I feel like. How does this audio sound to you guys? Does this, does this sound alright? <clears throat> it's gonna be weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna sound very different. Also, um, I can't even hear the music. Okay, alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, now we gotta do a test. I'm pretty sure it's R to record, and then I press R to record. Ooh. Probably came up for you guys too. I'm sorry about that. That's so you guys don't hear desktop sounds. Yeah, alright, then I can do that. Delete, alright, cool. <clears throat> now, I'm just gonna go through them in order that they're on here. Horror YouTube, is that the pay and strike process? <laughs> no, <laughs> right? Uh, no, I've actually got nine YouTube channels, believe it or not. Um, here, I'll read them off to you so you can see. So you'll get an understanding. Not all of them are active by any means. Um, I just have them. So I've got my main one of which I want to do, like tutorials, how-tos, compilations, whatever. Um, and I figure, why the fuck not? So I've got Trash Mouse. And then I've got Trash Craft, which is going to be like Minecraft stuff, which I want to do casually, but I more so just want to do that as hanging out with friends type thing. Okay, I've got to change the quality of these lights. Minecraft channel has absolutely nothing on it. Um, then I've got Trash Boy, which is my IRL one, so you'll get like a lot of my IRL TikToks on there, and eventually I'll make actual videos for it. Um, you have Trash Plays, which is my Let's Play channel. Trash VODs, which is my VOD archive. Um, Sleep Aid Nights, of which is gonna be like, just like those like, rain sounds kind of thing, and like, a, a video that plays on screen. And then I'll make the exact same video, but it'll have like, a, like, black screen, so I can upload the same thing, but without a video. Um, it'll be like 10 hour video. There'll be like a, a one hour, a three hour, um, a six hour, eight hour, and then 10 hour. Because like, that's just the easy way to do it. You just loop it that way. So you like pain I see. I'm a workaholic actually. Um, so to me, this is no big deal. Like I enjoy doing a shit ton of work. Plus with Bill C11 that has gone through, um, I think it's like 60 to 70% of like all Canadian or of Canada, right? Oh, my brain is not working. In Canada, there's now a law that all content that is being distributed through media needs to be 60 or 70% Canadian. We already have that for TV and radio stations, but they added it to the internet. So now YouTubers click through rate is going to absolutely plummet because now Canadian content is going to be recommended to Canadians more. Sounds great. Until you realize that um, your grandmother doesn't give a shit about Destiny 2 videos, right? So, but it's going to pop up on their screen, so they aren't going to click it, and it's going to ruin click-through rate, which is going to fuck with the YouTube algorithm, which is already catered to specifically that. So it's going to fuck a lot of people over. Uh, it also, if we aren't making Canadian enough content, it won't count. So we won't be recommended at all in Canada. So what the fuck is defined as Canadian content? You know, I am a Canadian, but does that count as Canadian content? Like, what the fuck, you know? So that that's an issue that we have. So I diversify to a whole bunch of different things because I'm passionate about all of them to a different degree, right? And if I get bored of something, I now have something else I can work on and still be productive. Um, so yeah, that's why I do this. Um, and then I've got trash clips, which is going to be like my clips channel. There's also going to be like shorts and clips that will be uploaded to my main channel, but the clips channel is going to be just for like clips that can be just, just tossed up. And then horror floor, which is what we're about to record for, um, which is like creepy green texts. I want to do like creepy Reddit stories and then also stories from the community. So if you've had a creepy encounter, there's actually a section in the Discord where if you write up the story in like notepad or something like that, share the notepad file to that channel 
and I will read it off when it uh when I get to doing more stories. So I want to like do different things for different days of the week. I want to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the horror channel. But at the moment, it's going to be once a week probably, and then I can get like at least five recorded tonight. That might be short, like a couple minute videos, but they can be scheduled five weeks in advance because I have five of them. Um, and then I've got trash assets, which is just for like my Ko-Fi or coffee or whatever you want to call it, where I upload the uh, videos and I save them as like unlisted. And it's for like the animated backgrounds and stuff, so it's there. But it's also where I'm going to like post assets that need to be a video so if i make like anything that's like green screen or whatever then you guys can like add it to your stream that way um i tried making short channel for frosted but it was a pain and then i had health problems need to do more on it yeah i mean like it, it's a lot of work right because i have the nine youtube channels right again not all of them are super are like active by any means um but i have nine and i plan to upkeep with all those at some point i just need to make sure that i get some editors that can also help with getting all that shit sorted out um i need to have a a bit of help like staying on track with things so i actually made a announcement in the server that if anyone would like to help me with staying on track with things i want to have like a little team where we do like weekly meetings type thing and they give me feedback on the content that they've seen and whatnot and help me stay on track with stuff like have you done this today have you done that today you know like uh remember that you've got this coming up type thing right like i want i just need a team of people that can support me and then i've also got um three different TikToks, you know, I got my IRL, my VTuber, and the horror one. Well, uh, VTuber one we just recorded for. I'm going to be editing the videos this weekend, and then I'll be scheduling them the next day, and then those will be like three a day for a week, um, and then we'll have enough for the next week, because it'll be a few days between when they're edited and when they're actually recorded. So that's a thing. And then also, if I record more than 21, then we're good, right? So we got a little bit of buffer room, but you can only schedule 10 days in advance. So technically, I should try and schedule 30. Like, like record 30, but like, whatever. Then we've got um, my IRL one, which I just record when I'm either in my garage out after stream having a smoke, or when I go in the morning to chill in the forest and watch the sunrise. I just talk when I'm there and record whatever is on my mind. And then the horror one is just going to be the exact same videos that are on YouTube, but in a, you know, like a phone ratio as opposed to like a monitor ratio and without the text on screen, it'll just be, you know, the audio. And then of course I got like four different Instagram accounts. I got two different Twitter accounts. Technically I got three Twitter accounts, but one of them is a team thing that I just wanted the username before I actually even attempt to start it. If I even decide to. Um, there's a few people I talked to as well, but like it, it's called Shonen V, and it'd be like a group of male VTubers because there's not a whole lot of us. Like there is, but like we're not as popular as people ones, obviously. So I just want to have like a group of like guys or whatever, and you know, with all due respect for everyone else, I'm the one with the good voice. Nah, <laughs> I'm kidding. I invited Frosted to it, and he said he's interested, but we just need to get a few more people and actually get on top of it. And I was like, yeah, I have a bunch of other stuff I'm also doing, but I got the username, so it's there. So technically, I've got three different uh, Twitter accounts, but I got my main one, which is the VTuber stuff, and then I've got the uh, my IRL one, which is going to be used for adult content, which is going to be very interesting, balancing VTuber stuff where I do stupid things to my IRL TikTok, which is where people know me as being like chill and in nature kind of thing, and then also just having opinions on stuff. And I'm probably gonna talk about creepy stuff and like like paranormal creepy stuff. Not like I'm being a creep, but you know, what I mean, paranormal stuff, and then like just life things. And then it'll also be like, hey, yeah, I do adult content as well, but I don't really promote that on there. So then you just throw out your female voice, throw them off. Ah, uh, you mean like this? I love doing that to people. It's just like the funniest shit. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I think I'm getting better at swapping to it as well. Vex. <laughs> I'm a nap. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, so it's going to be shit like that. But, they, yeah, I got all that going. And then I got four different Instagram accounts. You know, I've got my art one where I'm going to be posting, like, my coffee stuff so people can go see that. Oh, there's things that they make, and they're free, and I can go use it. Cool. And then, like, overlays and animated backgrounds. And then there's also, oh, no wonder things sound weird. It was going at three times speed for some reason. 
Oh, I've been glitched. But ning, you know. So yeah, like there that's gonna be my art one, then I got my gaming one where I take like screenshots from like Halo, Minecraft, Elden Ring, and Forza. Like that's my main shit. For that one, which so far it's only Forza and Elden Ring, because I haven't played Minecraft in a while and I haven't played um Halo until like recently and I still need to go back through theater mode and find some cool shots in there. Or like we'll just set up some cool shots. Um and then I got my VTuber one, which pretty much gets my TikToks um, uploaded to it as well. And then also I'm going to be doing like cool photo shoot stuff in VR chat. Once I've got like a good VTuber model in that, that, you know, doesn't, uh, there's just something about like this model, it's a VTuber. Cool. Makes sense. It's a Vroid VTuber. All right. Eh. But like, I don't make it look like it. Obviously, I don't look like any other Vroid that's on, you know. Like, even, like, there's some people, like, like, Lena, her shit is like, whoa, well, that's a, that's a V-Roid, you know, like, kind of thing. But, like, I want to have, like, really, like, high-quality professional one at some point. So, yeah. But, like, I do, like, fancy stuff like this, so, like, people are like, there's absolutely no way that's a V-Roid. Yeah, it's a V-Roid. It just, you know, Vex put in a lot of work, and then I altered it after that, and added shaders and shit, and Unity, and made it work, you know? So, ah. gotta think outside the box. Um, so I'll be doing, like, doing, like, photo shoot type stuff, but, like, there's just something about it that doesn't convert well to VR chat, so I can't really do photo shoots in that. And then, I got my IRL, uh, Instagram, which I'm gonna be taking pictures for, uh, once I figure out what I wanna do with it. I'm, I'm debating, um, making that, like, a little risque, but also, like, alternative punk kind of style at the same time. But, like, I also kind of want to show off that, like, I like the idea of being femboy, so I want to, like, have a mixture of those. So it'll be, like, femboy and punk. So, yeah. And I'm debating making a fifth Instagram that'll just be for, like, my photography that I take of, like, nature. Because I take a lot of pictures of that, so... I just like to keep busy, and there's so many things I like doing, so that I just, like, find a bunch of different stuff. And I am uh, work on all that. You know? All right, now I should record those things, though, now that I've explained pretty much everything that I do. <clears throat> now, again, this is going to be recorded through um, Audacity, so the audio that you guys hear is probably going to sound slightly different, but shouldn't be a big deal. So I've got five different stories. Um, I'm going to do them in order, and I'm... Probably not going to reply to chat while I'm reading it, but I will, like, between reading stories. But the ones that I've got is, Do you believe in the dog man? Dog man at my window. Michigan Cemetery. Something outside our car. Something under my tree stand. I was literally just watching, like, a dog man video and was like, Oh, I'll take all those. So I figured, why the fuck not? So I want more, but, like, these all seem, like, relatively short. It would be easy enough to, like, start up on. So, but if you guys do have, like, any of your own creepy stories, or you do have, um, like, creepy Reddit posts or anything, or you got creepy green texts, then, like, let me know. Specifically for green texts from X or K. But, yeah. So, I'm just gonna do these in order that I have here. Because, like, they're relatively short. <clears throat> Like, hold on, I'll just show my screen so you can see. Like, it, it's it's pretty short, right? Like, this is the whole thing. So, like, the relatively shorter ones that I'm aiming for. <coughs> but getting myself ready to actually record. Oh my god. And you would think recording in front of, like, when you're live would be more stressful than, like, normal recording where other people can't hear you. But, like, to me, it's like, ah, you guys are here to... If you hear me say something that sounded off, let me know, and then I'll, like, redo that part type thing, too. <coughs> Alright, yeah, that's my nice voice sound. <coughs> okay, um, maybe close. Now, it sounds a little off, hold up. 
There, there's a specific voice I like to use when I'm recording for this type of thing. I like dropping my voice a little bit and then like going to like the deeper tone of my natural voice, but then a little bit lower. <clears throat> so like finding a spot that isn't going to fuck up my voice while I'm doing that. Alright, one, two, one, two. Testing my voice. This sounds like it should be alright. I was camping in Oklahoma, in a place that you have to sign in and out. They don't have any designated camping spots. You just find a place and set up camp. I have one of those one-person tents that are long and narrow. I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grabbed my gun. After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight foot tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car I was probably eight feet away from it. Last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight staring at my muffler with scrapes all over my body and face. Blood on my head. It had to have launched me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? Hey, see? Stuff like that. My ears are rumbling, Pog. Uh, stay. Sorry. So hopefully that sounded okay. Now... We go back and we listen to it. So I gotta turn on desktop sounds. Uh, it looks like I might need to turn it down a little bit in my mixer though because it looked very loud to me before. Yeah, so let's turn that down a little bit there. Let's see what this sounds like. I was camping in Oklahoma in a place that you have to sign in and out. They don't have any designated camping spots. You just find a place and set up camp. I have one of those one-person tents that are long and narrow. I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grabbed my gun. After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight foot tall creature barreling down on me. Why did it get quiet there? Hold up. Where the fuck I am? Where the fuck I am? Hold up, that was roughly here. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grabbed my gun. After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been there. What the shit? <clears throat> hey, what's up, cat? We're uh, doing a recording for my horror channel right now. Alright, so that was roughly... I should probably try and keep in the voice I was using. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight foot tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car I was probably eight feet away from it. Last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the... Alright. So now I will just uh, find my slicing tool. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I forget how Audacity works. Give me a sec. I mean, I could just re-record over it. Okay, so 24, 25, and 48, 49. Where, how do you do this again? How do I do that? I don't know. Uh... 
I'll just record over it. <laughs> no, how do I do it? Why is it not letting me like split shit? What the fuck? If I start recording here, will it actually go? No, it will not. God, why? Why you do this? I never had issues with this before. Why am I having issues? All right, this is getting really fucking annoying. Um, now, let's just finish reading entire. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. All right, then I'll just go to the end and just record that part again. <clears throat> then the tent started to compress on me, and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight-foot-tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car, I was probably eight feet away from it. Sure. We'll go with that. How does that part sound? Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight-foot-tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car, I was probably eight feet away from it. Buggy. Alright, um... Sure... I swear that you used to be able to, like, grab a portion and move it, but I guess not. Like, what the fuck? Like, where's the little, like, grab tool that I used to have? Okay, what if I cut that that I just recorded? And then go into this more. And then the place but tent started to compress on me, and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight-foot tall creature. All right, now what if I just boop, right there instead? How did that look? Did that did that overlay it, or did that just move? Oh god. Nah, it looks like it might be still good. All right. Let's check now. Was camping in Oklahoma in a place that you have to sign in and out. They don't have any designated camping spots. You just find a place and set up camp. I have one of those one-person tents that are long and narrow. As I was about to fall asleep, I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me, and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight-foot-tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car, I was probably eight feet away from it. Last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight staring at my muffler with scrapes all over my body and face. Blood on my head. It had to have launched me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? Hmm. I kind of want to redo that last part too. <clears throat> I 
last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight. Yeah. So. Boop. <clears throat> Let's get ready. And we'll get to it again. Last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight staring at my mother with scrapes all over my body and face and blood on my head. It had to have washed me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? Alright, how's that one here? The last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight staring at my mother with scrapes all over my body and face and blood on my head. It had to have washed me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? E. Alright, now which... I think from here is the old one. Is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up to sunlight staring at my muffler with scrapes all over my body and face. Blood on my head. It had to have launched me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? Oop. And we delete all of that. Maybe a little bit more there. Then we get rid of some more gaps that are in here, like that. And we go like that. And then we go and we play from the start. I was camping in Oklahoma, in a place that you have to sign in and out. They don't have any designated camping I'm spots, just, just find start. a place to set up camp. I have one of those one-person tents that are long and narrow. I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. Fuck! After a while, it left, and I said, I. Oh, don't care enough. I was camping in Oklahoma. In God damn it, why are you all the way back there now? I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me, and I started to freak out and grab my gun. Well, hold up. I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I was about to fall asleep. I kept hearing rustling outside. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then something big kept pressing against my tent. Then the tent started to compress on me, and I started to freak out and grab my gun. Hey, okay, I might be I might be good here. Hold on, hold on, we might be good. After a while I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. Okay, I can actually just record over that part. Okay. <clears throat> After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. Alright, how does it sound? After a while, it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. Sure. Now we gotta find it in there. Which I believe is this part? Then the tent started to compress. After a while, I left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. B. Leave that silence there. I believe that's there. And then as I was running. Oh. Then the tent started to compress on me and I started to freak out and grab my gun. After a while it left and I unzipped the tent and ran for my car. As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me. English! Hell yes! 
As I was running, I heard branches break and looked behind me to see what had been an eight-foot-tall creature barreling down on me. It was about ten feet away when I saw it. When I looked back at my car, I was probably eight feet away from it. The last thing I know is I'm hit hard from the back and wake up with sunlight staring at my mother with scrapes all over my body and face and blood on my head. It had to have launched me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? Hold on, so it had to have launched me a good few feet. Is this Barney? Are we listening to Barney? Alright, getting rid of some silence. Had to have launched me a good few feet. Body and face and blood on my head. Had to have launched me a good few feet. So what the fuck did I encounter? I get it. File. Export. Export is WAF. Alright, uh, not there, you silly. There's PC. My D drive. Uh, fail editing. Trash. Horror floor. X. Unedited. Do you believe in the dog man? That is. I wonder what we're doing. And then. We'll call it audio. Actually, I should probably just call it Do You Believe in the Dog Man? So hold on. Done. Aha! And that is probably exported now. So let's check. Hey, it's done. It's good. All right, cool, cool. We got one done. We got one done. Well, I'm gonna have to edit it later, but like, we got one done. All right. So now we will grab all of this and delete. Now it's already been exported. And dog man at my window is the next one. Now, this one is a little bit longer, <clears throat> but it should be okay. <clears throat> also, my throat is already hard. Yeah, something tells me that we're not going to get enough time for gaming tonight. That's okay. <clears throat> All right, one, two, drop the voice. Bop, bop, ba do bop, ba do ba do bop, ba. Yeah, that clearly helped. <clears throat> ah. <clears throat> oh, sorry, just trying to get my voice to the right spot is actually kind of difficult. Alright, one, two, one, two. Alright. Start after the first line because the first line doesn't matter. It's just saying like I was going to post this in the other dogman thread, but it got archived. <coughs> All right, one two, one two. All right, voice work the way I want you to. I've told this story here before, but here it is again. When I was two in 1987, we lived in a small house where all kinds of weird shit happened. But that's a completely other story. One night, I kept waking up crying and telling my parents there was a monster outside my bedroom window. They asked me what it looked like, and I showed them my Jackalman action figure from Thundercats. They figured I was just being a kid and shrugged it off, tucked me back in, and went about their business. My aunt and uncle were visiting that night, so they were hanging out with them. All throughout that night, our dog Sinbad was acting really strange and afraid and he was a massive German Shepherd mix who had never been afraid of anything. He was anxious and kept whining and refused to go outside. Later on that same night, my mom went to use the bathroom. and she was in there, she heard deep breathing and snorting coming from the window, which was a small vent-like opening about eight feet off the ground. She freaked out and yelled to my dad and uncle, and they ran outside and around the house. They described what they saw as the biggest man they've ever seen, and when it saw them it bolted, 
took off running across the empty lot behind our house. They both swear to this day that when it was about halfway across the lot, they dropped down to all fours and tore off faster than they could have imagined or hoped to keep up with. I don't remember any of this as I was too young, but my parents and uncle aren't the types to make something like this up and they've stuck to their story over the past three decades or so. I live in northern Michigan, where there is a legend that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade, which would like... which would likely up... I have no idea how to say this. Which would line up with this. That's what it says. Which would line up with this. Just a weird story from my past, but one I like to get out there whenever I can. <clears throat> now I gotta find that spot where I was just messing up my words. Should be about here. I don't remember any of this as I was too young, but my parents and uncle aren't the types to make something like this up, and they've stuck to their story over the past three decades or so. I live in northern Michigan, where there is a legend that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade, which would like, which would likely up. I have no idea how to say this. Which would line up with this? That's what it says. Which would line up with this? Just a weird story from my past. But the one I liked. Alright, now we'll get rid of that. Move that. And... I live in northern Michigan. Where there is a legend that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade. Which would line up with this. Oh, which would line up with this. That's how I should say that. <clears throat> which would line up with this. Which would line up. that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade which would line up with this just a weird story from my past but one i like to get out there whenever i can okay so this one maybe will be good from the start who knows let's find out we're gonna listen to it again um i'm also gonna show it on screen for you guys so allow me to um pop a buoy over here and we will go to this one so uh, we will go to... Oh. I've told this story here before, but here it is again. When I was two, in 1987, we lived in a small house where all kinds of weird shit happened. That's a completely other story. One night, I kept waking up crying and telling my parents there was a monster outside my bedroom window. They asked me what it looked like, and I showed them my Jackalman action figure from Thundercats. They figured I was just being a kid and shrugged it off, tucked me back in, and went about their business. My aunt and uncle were visiting that night, so they were hanging out with them. All throughout that night, our dog Sinbad was acting really strange and afraid, and he was a massive German Shepherd mix who had never been afraid of anything. He was anxious and kept whining and refused to go outside. Later on that same night, my mom went to use the bathroom, as she was in there, she heard deep breathing and snorting coming from the window, which was a small vent-like opening about eight feet off the ground. She freaked out and yelled to my dad and uncle, and they ran outside and around the house. They described what they saw as the biggest man they've ever seen, and when it saw them, it bolted, took off running across the empty lot behind our house. They both swear to this day that when it was about halfway across the lot, they dropped down to all fours and tore off faster than they could have imagined or hoped to keep up with. I don't remember any of this. Oh, okay, hold up. Faster than they could have imagined or hoped. Get rid of that gap there. Faster than they could have imagined or hoped to keep up with. I don't remember any of this. That. I don't remember any of this as I was too young. 
but my parents and uncle aren't the types to make something like this up, and they've stuck to their story over the past three decades or so. I live in northern Michigan, where there is a legend that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade, which would line up with this. Just a weird story from my past, but one I like to get out there whenever I can. Okay, now to remove the excess audio that isn't necessary. Like all like the blank space and whatnot. I've told this story here before, but here it is again. When I but here it is again. When I was two, in 1987, we lived in a small house where all kinds of weird shit happened. But that's a completely other story. That's a completely other story. We're just getting rid of blank One space. Night, I kept waking up crying and telling my parents there was a monster outside my bedroom window. They asked me what it looked like, and I showed them my Jackal Man action figure from Thundercats. They figured I was just being a kid and shrugged it off, tucked me back in, and went about their business. My aunt and uncle were visiting that night, so they were hanging out with them. So they were hanging out with them. All throughout that night, our dog Sinbad was acting really strange and afraid, and he was a massive German Shepherd mix who had never been afraid of anything. He was anxious and kept. Was a any noise. He was anxious and kept whining and refused to go outside. was anxious and kept whining and refused to go outside. Later on that same night, my mom went to use the bathroom. As she was in there, she heard deep breathing and snorting coming from the window, which was a small vent-like opening about eight feet off the ground. She f eight feet off the ground. She freaked out and yelled to my dad and uncle, and they ran outside and around the house. They described This is like the tedious part of this, but it's really not that hard to do, luckily. She freaked out and yelled to my dad and uncle, and they ran outside and around the house. They described what they saw as the big... Nani? They described... She freaked out and yelled to my dad and uncle, and they ran outside and around the house. They described what they saw as the biggest man they've ever seen, and when it saw them it bolted, took off running across the empty lot behind our house. They both swear to this day that when it was about halfway across the lot, it dropped down to a lot. It dropped across the lot, dropped down. that when it was about halfway across the lot, dropped down to that when it was about halfway across the lot, dropped down to all four that when it was about halfway across the lot, it dropped down to all fours and tore off faster than they could have imagined or hoped to keep up with. I don't remember any of this as I was too young. But my parents and uncle aren't the types to make something like this up, and they've stuck to their story over the past three decades or so. I live in northern Michigan, where there is a legend that says the dogman comes in the seventh year of each decade, which would line up with this. Just a weird story from my past, but one I like to get out there whenever I can. Hey yo! That one didn't take too, too much editing. I mean, I didn't need to record things. Not much. Export as WAV! Alright, um, let's make sure that it actually went into the folder. 
You did. Ta da! Alright, Michigan Cemetery. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the scene in case anything accidentally pops up on my scene. It shouldn't be there. I mean, there shouldn't be, but like, you never know. Uh. I don't really want to record more. It sounds stupid, but like I've done two of them. And I've got a bunch of TikToks after it. Uh, maybe I'll record these on my own later. There's three more, but like I don't know. Your boy's already out of energy, and I don't know why. But like I am like dead tired now. So like, I think I'm gonna call it here. Let's go find someone to raid. I don't even know if we have enough. We should have enough, I think. Maybe. Yeah, we do. Okay. So let's go find someone to rate. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of content, though. I do like the community content night. Um, my room is also just getting really fucking warm. <gasps> Melly is on. I'm going to throw you guys in Melly. I got to get in there. Got to turn this bitch right the fuck down. All right. And... I'm going to send you guys over to her because she's, 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 she's awesome. All right. So... Show Millie some love. She's fantastic. Everyone that's on everything else, I'm sorry. But uh, go and check my Twitch to see who I'm hosting. Because she's cool as all hell. There's a link to all my stuffs. So if you guys would care to come and follow me across all my social media. I don't know why that didn't send to YouTube. But oh well. Uh, if you guys are not already part of the Discord, I highly encourage you to join us. If you are a content creator yourself and you would like some free assets, there you go. Check it out. I make stuff for y'all. And if you feel like checking out the things that I would like to buy for myself and for streams in the future, there it is. You also have the ability to buy it as well if you would like to, but you don't have to. Oh, apparently I haven't been streaming to YouTube for a while now. Neat. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. I love you guys. Have a good one. And I will see you tomorrow for some VR chat. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.